Today we'll be reviewing a product demonstration on Autodesk Vault Professional. It is a critical element in the future of making things. We will be covering the typical workflows and challenges faced by Osgood Industries. Osgood is a leading American manufacturer in filling solutions, offering innovative filling machinery worldwide for over four decades. We will show how Osgood was able to manage their engineering data in one central location, collaborate across different groups, even those ones that don't use CAD, handle engineering changes, leverage past designs, and communicate their engineering bill of materials to downstream business systems. How can sales and field engineering communicate downstream? How can we avoid sending and receiving hundreds of emails on the same project? How can we ensure a seamless handoff between the different groups and the different divisions? How do we grant access to the right people? People that are working on different workstations, different locations, and even with different roles. While visiting a customer, Osgood's field engineering received a request. The servo motor needs to be mounted vertically to keep oil in the gearbox. This change needs to be communicated downstream to the engineering team. The Vault Web Client is the application for communicating across today's business landscape. It allows secure access to your Vault, allowing you to search, view, and measure, and make clear requests downstream. This can all be accomplished in a web browser, no longer needing access to a 3D CAD workstation. The Vault Web Client allows you the power to search, customize your views, look through your items, and you can check in and out any additional files like Microsoft Office or PDFs that you need in the system. Here in the Web Client, we'll perform a search and we'll find some existing servo motors. The search results can be viewed easily in list format or by thumbnail, providing quick visual feedback for your files. In viewing this motor, we can quickly jump to its related assemblies or view past revisions that are all automatically stored in the vault. We can also see the related parts. That way, when a change happens, we can see any affected assemblies downstream. Now, by choosing the assembly, we can preview it. We can zoom, rotate, and other visualization tools. We can even mark up the drawing to communicate the needed change to the engineering team. Creating the markup is easy and effective. Everyone is now looking at the same data and the latest information. Let's finish by storing the file in the vault. Simply choose Add File, and we're done. Osgood Engineering needs to react quickly to requests that come in from field engineering and sales. They need clear visibility to the requested changes and how they affect other designs and deliverables. The files all need to be in one central location and the latest revision. Vault Explorer provides engineering and design users with a secure interface for checking in files. It allows searching of all the available components and their revisions. We can also edit and view file properties and maintain file structures. Let's take a look at how it works. This is our desktop view into the vault. Here, we can browse or perform searches across the vault based on any standard or user-defined file properties. In addition to searching, we can carry out bulk property editing. It's fully associative back to our CAD files ensuring that the title block and drawing information is always correct. We can easily do a search by other properties. Let's do a keyword search and find our newly edited file. We can now open the file in Inventor right from the vault. The main view can be configured by adding critical or useful fields and it can be reordered to suit each user. Let's bring in a thumbnail to make viewing easier. We can also learn the impact of new changes with a view not only to components consumed by the assembly, but also all the locations that the components or assemblies are being used in. This can answer a critical detail about form, fit, and function. Here, we're able to check the file by quickly previewing the selected documents on the Preview tab. 
The CAD BOM offers a view of the CAD-based bill of materials, and the data sheet a summary of our properties. Let's add a shortcut to the 932 assembly, since we'll be coming back to it. Adding files directly from Windows Explorer is easy to do, along with a quick note on the changes being made. The folder added contains pictures, additional Allen Bradley PDFs, and an Excel file. Osgood needs to be able to make changes to their designs quickly. They must also track those changes and ensure the proper approval from the necessary groups within the company. Engineering change orders can be used to track modifications and to notify stakeholders. It provides a custom approval process along with an auditable trail of changes being made. Let's start our ECO. We just need to add a title and detailed description to let people know what the purpose of this ECO is. Quickly attach and select the other documents we'd like to add. Note we can start an ECO or attach existing files to an already created ECO simply by right clicking on the file and selecting New or Add. Let's make some changes to an existing Excel file right in the vault. We can highlight the rows that are associated with the new part, so the procurement knows which products we'd like them to purchase. We can check the Excel file back in with a quick note so that they can track why we made the change. Now, let's attach the Excel file to the ECO. Other parts of your company can use the viewer to see CAD data and other files right in the interface. We can see the required changes to the assembly and respond to the requests giving engineering the go-ahead to make design changes. Osgood's engineering needs to leverage existing designs and documentation. To make a new prototype iteration without affecting legacy data, a copy of the assembly, its drawings, and supporting documents must be made. Copy design is the ultimate tool for data reuse. It can intelligently grab all the required components, maintaining the correct assembly relationships. Renaming, renumbering, and restructuring your files as you go, this tool allows you to leverage your past designs and quickly start working on new ones. Copy Design allows us to make a copy of an entire assembly structure. Laid out in an easy to follow grid structure, it can easily be customized with new columns of data. We can make a copy of the entire assembly with all the required components and maintain all the assembly relationships. Additional assemblies, library files, and other design documents can be included. Let's start the new assembly structure. Within the interface, we can append a prefix or a suffix to one file or all the files at once. Here, I can just browse the vault for our old style of plate and replace it with the new design. The rest of the assembly structure will remain intact, but I can add, remove, or replace as needed. Let's choose the copy command. This operation is now performed on the server, saving us more time with large assemblies. Let's go to the new folder so we can open the assembly in Inventor right from the vault. We run through the updates. In the assembly, let's change out the servo motors. We can use the component replace command to find our replacement. Let's search the vault for Allen, since we know we're using Allen Bradley servo motors. We are replacing the horizontal designs with the new vertical one. Once we save the assembly, we can check it back into the vault with a comment making future tracking even easier. Now, back in the Vault Explorer, we're ready to submit the ECO and change the state of the assembly to released. 
We can design an inventor and vault, creating our assemblies and CAD drawings. But now we must communicate downstream with an ERP or an MRP system. Now we need to share usable information those systems can understand. Like many companies, Osgood Industries is taking their CAD data and manually creating a manufacturing bill of material by hand or with a spreadsheet. Creating bombs manually on spreadsheets is slow and error prone. Visibility into the rationale of a change as well as the traceability is non-existent. Product definition is incomplete, leading to delays or poor quality. Duplicating efforts because changes aren't communicated between manufacturing and engineering. Vault effectively closes this gap with the use of items. This translates design information into a purchasable solution. Osgood needs to take their new assembly to manufacture and supply chain. They need their manufacturing bomb to effectively capture all the existing CAD data and properties. Let's begin by making the items. It's easy to do straight from the CAD model. Then we can add non-model based items like grease, paint, or a service kit. Quantities can be controlled as well, where Osgood might need to purchase a spare servo motor. Also, any updates to the items are fully associative going back to the CAD file. Let's begin by creating an item. It's easy to do straight from the CAD model with the properties of the file getting written into the item. Let's add some items to the bomb that are not in the CAD assembly. Let's add a service kit. We can see that it contains several items, an extra gasket, oil, some zip ties. We can also easily add any supporting documents, like a workmanship standard or vendor information. Let's renumber some of these items using the system's numbering scheme. They can be mapped, sequential, or follow a custom scheme. Now, let's update a servo motor's file name. I notice that the CAD data still has the old name. It can be synchronized, sending the properties to the CAD assembly, part, or drawing. Here, even at the drawing title block, we can verify that all the files have the latest and greatest information. We have full search capabilities right within the BOM. We can now go several layers deep, looking within our assemblies for buried components. Item quantities can be changed on the fly, like calling for 200 screws in case we didn't want to add all of those back at the CAD model. At the bomb level, we can also customize the fields, giving us greater visibility into our assemblies. Let's view the position number. Here in the bomb, we can sort, view, and change the item's position number. Let's add a spare servo motor to the assembly at the customer's request. Since the property fields are fully customizable, I created and am now adding a property called Spare Parts. Let's now use the search tool to add the servo motor. You'll notice the rows are duplicated. This allows us to view the same item with a different position number. I'm not required to release my components, but instead can do an export in order to purchase long lead items. The export can include custom properties, as well as provide a summary for review before sharing the information downstream. An early release of key components is a snap in Autodesk Vault. Choosing the items and changing the state is all that is required. The BOM Compare tool allows us to visualize the ongoing changes along with automatically saving all revisions. We can see that the state of the servo changed along with the removal of an earlier kit. The BOM report allows us to utilize existing standard templates or to create our own. This allows us to output information we care about.
It provides easy to follow feedback of your lists. Now let's quickly release our entire assembly for manufacture. Here in the Item Master, we've seen the ability to go from concept to manufacture faster by leveraging our existing CAD data and creating files that can be shared downstream. The ability to execute from concept to manufacturing is crucial. Vault provides one central location where engineering and operations can collaborate not only on the CAD bill of materials, but on the supporting documentation as well. Using the Item Master allows the divisions and groups to get on the same page and always work on the latest document. Osgood Industries has received an order that requires a new design on an existing configuration, specifically a new cup holder assembly. Field Engineering has gathered some of the requirements and those can be put into any file format desired, such as PDFs, CAD doc, or Windows file. Also included, our early scheduling requirements from project management and estimated costs from supply chain and vendors. Here in the vault, we will do a search for existing CAD data and verify that the frame and cup holder are already complete. We now begin by creating the new item assembly. This will act as a placeholder when building this new assembly. Categories offer us the ability to group objects logically and even the ability to set up separate lifecycle definition or revisions to files. Engineering can start the project quickly, creating the basic item structure. Thumbnails confirm and make it easy to verify that we're using the right file. We can now add a new assembly that will be designed, creating a brand new item using its category and assigning the correct properties to get it started and act as a placeholder for all engineering data and documents as they're ready. Now other departments can get involved to make this even easier. Engineering can also create a folder where everyone else can collaborate in an even easier to find location. In proposals, we'll create a new folder for this specific job. We can drag and drop creating a shortcut link to our items. Field engineering can add their existing documentation straight from the customer via the web client. Now, project management can do the same thing directly from the web browser, adding their proposed schedule. Engineering received an email from a vendor. They can check that in directly using the Vault add-in. In the Vault Explorer, let's ensure that all the attached documentation is also associated with our new item assembly. A simple drag and drop associates these documents with the item master. The other subassemblies have longer lead times, so we can release those to procurement and supply chain allowing us to focus our attention on the new assembly that needs design and engineering work. This leverages all the existing documentation and engineering drawings, allowing us to execute faster because our documents are in one centralized location. As you've seen, Autodesk Vault offers best-in-class solutions for the future of making things.